get is there, right here. Okay. Because I'm going to need that. Yeah. So all of my little prerequisites I'm doing is, is making sure that before I make a run that he knows the moves. I had to show him the moves when I first got on. Can you be soft in the mouth at all? Can you move your hindquarters around? Can you move your shoulders around? Every day. You're going to need this. Wouldn't it be nice if before it was your calling your name at a barrel racing, if you had your horse left brain enough that you could warm him up just like that? Just like or half of them are, you know, and they're, you couldn't even begin to move stuff around. Okay? Keeping them left brain is crucial, crucial, crucial. Um, yeah, so when I checked her out, First thing was she didn't move, or he didn't move his head very far. Um, the next was, and the hips are still a little bit sluggish, but they're okay. Then this part here, so wanting to stop his feet and roll back, just wasn't very smooth. So that little move there, when you're practicing that move. You want to slow it down a little bit because here's what the move's all about. When you're got him around like Come this. Come a little closer, Viva. When you got him around like this, rather than roll back. See, I'm up off my pockets. Now I get back on my pockets. But I'm going to just, can I lift that inside foot over? Can I lift that inside foot over? Can he understand? That rein is connected to that foot. Back on my pockets. So the inside, inside foot is connected to this rein. It needs to go that way. To make a step away. Okay. See, he's wanting to do it too fast, so he doesn't even know that that rein is connected to that foot. So you just work with it a little bit because that same move is right here. Round, 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 move that foot. Not as much. So round, 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 move that foot. Get it? That's that, you know, and when I helped you out there um, the uh, this spring, remember we were having trouble finishing the second? So that would be that same little warm up that you would do is that. I, instead of going to the barrel, it's like, does he even know that that rain moves that foot? <laughs> it's not moving very well, is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that same, same move would be, you know, you're pushing him up there, pushing him up there. You've got your roundness, you've got your roundness. Can you? step that foot over there to finish the turn, right? Do they know that this, that my knee and my thigh is connected to the ribs and the neck? So when I'm pushing, see that? How it pushes that stuff up and around. So they get that communication that that's what that, I'm not just sitting up here for nothing. Okay, so there you go ahead and, and, and work your horse. You could focus on. So that move there should be back on and and reverse archer and really hike your pinky up to the sky and see if you can get that eye looking at you going the yes up to the sky turn that pinky way up yes yes and the more turn that pinky like even more see because that's what's making you yes don't cross the neck straight up there you go so take your time and feel them feet like feel them feet and that's good that's good just you know, you can do it 
because like the mayor the other your other mayor the other day I was doing something oh she run by the third and I took a hold of her and we had a little bit of a fight so she's right brain what did I do come back down rather than wrestle with her like what little exercises can I do to get her brain left again and pretty soon after doing little things like this I could see her eyeballs change and then she's left brain. So knowing the exercises, what gets them left brain? What gets them connected to you? Because so, when they're right brain, good luck if you need, you know, to move stuff over and around. So what the exercise that I thought I was doing, which was to, what was it now, like bringing that. I thought, okay, so that's kind of a rainer beginner level, right? No. Now I do the same thing, but do the opposite hand, like, yeah. And you can let her leak forward a little bit. There, because it's a forward move. If you watch, if I keep his feet still, it's not a good thing because you're going to see him try and cross underneath. So this one we don't want. So to. you, yeah, because it's a forward. So you could, okay. like, you could move around, see how them feet. That, this foot is crossing out in front, but if I try and hold them still, then they get all scrambled, right? Because it's, and, and you're moving anyways in the barrel. Like in the this barrel, is, This go ahead. is the hard move for her, the, because of this. So I don't, I have, I don't spend a lot of time making her cross over. But you could do it with, that. with, with length, because if. Yeah, so if I'm not, I just was trying to do it without. Yeah, no, much, you I can go ahead and move yeah. around. And that's good because I think more often and 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 measuring am I a percent better than sitting there for five minutes trying to so I'll like mm, it wasn't that good but I'll go do something I'll come and try that again because they don't want them to know that it's a problem anytime horses know things are a problem then they are a problem so I'm like oh, okay I'll just mark that one down and come back Remembering folks that the phases of your feet like just toe out is one phase toe down is phase two Starting to roll the rowel is phase three put it through their heart until you get some kind of a response It's phase four when you get the response back to phase one Because if you always hold it at phase four, you're always gonna have to use phase four same with your reins like at first like I'm really hiking this rain up and around but then Later, I'm trying to use less rain and more, more this, right? And don't forget, because that's that same move here. It's like I'm riding in a left lead. So I've got this side's back supporting the hip. This side's pushing that shoulder forward. Now I'm getting that elbow in, pinky up. And see how easy it is to finish the turn when you get roundness? So one of the biggest problems that I find that people miss out on is right in here, when their horse starts to get a little bit flat, that's where they lose it. Okay, to understand this, let me bring this up. If a horse, a ho lots of horses turn the barrels flat. But if you turn, if you're gonna turn a barrel flat, stiff, you need more room to get the whole horse by. But if you got roundness and you can keep them moving forward, you can start your turn s sooner because it's like a slinky. As long as the engine's pulling, this wraps around. But any time that the engine stops, you get that, right? I like to train for roundness. It just feels, that's, that's all I've ever done and, and it feels better to me. I'm not saying you can't run a horse flat. There's Tons of them that run flat. But just there. knowing that if they, especially go into your first barrel, if they cheat you at all, they're probably going to mow that barrel over. So you can, you can, you got to run them harder rather than, if you don't want to change your style and get them rounder, run them harder so you get that hip by the barrel. And then remembering that there's three sides to the barrel. 
So a lot of people quit riding. So they like, okay, my job's done. No, you gotta ride around here and finish the turn. Okay, it's not done yet. There's three sides to the barrel. The approach, the roundness, pinky up, and the lead. Getting that front foot to finish the turn. Okay? So again, that's why you're doing all these warm-ups. They're all in, involved in there. So then, then go ahead and there's your tires and wherever. For me, I've been doing the tires and then I've been countering my circles because it's just good loosening up exercise. This would be a hard exercise for her. Like, if I do a little bit of it, but I try not to do that direction, I try not to overdo it just because of the... Well, here's the other thing I want to bring up, folks. So, here's the thing. Horses, until we get on their back, travel in straight lines. Horses don't go around corners. Not very often. So their muscles are not in shape to be going around corners like this. So then what happens is when they're not in shape to go around corners like this, it's hard for them to do. And then we start getting in their way because we're expecting more. But you have to understand that neurologically, they got to connect that brain to the muscle and as time goes on the muscle gets stronger and stronger and the brain says it's more okay to continue on the turn and it feels okay but before like uh, understanding that you know horses don't travel in, in circles so it takes a while so just because they're not you know quite doing what you are expecting think of that mm -hmm. horses muscles probably aren't in shape for that that turn and them things you know right. so so you said you actually lope your circle before this. I, I, I've been doing the tires. I've been trotting the tires and then once yeah. I got that. Yeah, awesome, because you're just, to. you're kind of asking for for certain body parts to, to do certain things. and. Which way is the. Yeah. Um, the so pattern? you're going, um, your head's pointed to the left, so you're going to go to the right. So you'll finish and go that way. And then kind of reverse arc that one. Push the hips over, lift the forequarter. There you go. Nice. Nice. Imagine the little talk I just give you. Am I handling the hind quarters? Am I handling the fore quarters? giving her more room. mind do you feel like you're a percent or two better than when you started okay so I would call it good and I would come out here and go around random barrels that same direction 
So you just go do your go left and, and then picture this as her first. and pinch that swing her out here good shoulder exercise circles. So usually I do the trot, then I do my circle to wear her down. But and she had yesterday off, so you know first day back on her is See if I in my brain, if I had one that, that their their brain's going that fast, I'm over here first. Going I'm I'm doing cantering I'm here. doing my big circle. Okay, I, I always remember Caesar the dog whisperer. You know he goes to California to help them people with their dog. And he takes them and ties them to his bike. He goes around the block for five blocks first. Then he teaches them something. See? You know, and they <laughs> lay down. Yeah, okay, no problem. So I'm going to go this direction just for the hell of it. See how his head's up and he's flat? See how his shoulders drop? You know, I noticed that when I got on him. The circles probably haven't been done a lot because you're in a big pasture. I do, See how them. I do them, but... So here I'm going to... Because he's not going... He's not running away, so now I'm going to start helping him.
tried to take off there. All the way. to lift his nose. this last winter about riding around the barrel so you got to and finishing your turn so just knowing not that see I'm like finish that turn it would be real easy right here to do that wouldn't it that's not finishing the turn right hip pass it's real easy to point that pinky and get to the next barrel when you kind of over finish it. The finish is simple. It's not even, some people don't even think of it as a finish because the middle part's so good. Right? The middle part's really good. And I can feel myself like, I had to like lift his ribs up, lift him up, lift him up, lift him up, finish that turn. So I'm riding just that little bit farther, you might say when I'm actually lifting the ribs up. I'm finishing the middle part, the backside. So the backside is almost three quarters of the barrel. Then the finish is real easy. Really? You know, and then, and then uh, too, just for you, like notice how, like see where my weight is? I'm supporting the hindquarters. I'm like pulling everything up out of the way here. So the only door open is that way had a little bit of a problem last year where you were pretty much in the center and then you were like so if you really picture like I'm trying to fall off the outside picking everything up and it's just so easy for him to finish okay 